Watch discovered at the bottom of the Indian Ocean has been identified as belonging to a new species. Researchers from Singapore found the 14-legged creature during a deep-sea survey of the coast of Banten, Western Java, Indonesia back in 2018. The animal, whose head and compound eyes resemble the helmet of the Star Wars Sith Lord, has now been given the formal name Batinomus raxasa. The marine survey was conducted by Peter N.G. of the National University of Singapore and Calix during which they explored 63 sites over two weeks. The expedition, a collaboration with Indonesian Institute of Sciences, collected thousands of specimens from depths using trawling, dredging and various types of seafloor coring devices. Most of their work was undertaken at a depth around 800 meters, but their deepest sample was taken down at 2100 meters below the ocean's surface. In total, the researchers collected 12,000 deep sea creatures, including crabs, jellyfish, fish, mollusks, prawns, sponges, starfish, urchins, and worms comprising 800 species in total, of which 12 were unrecorded in the scientific literature. Batinomus raxasa is so-called giant isopod, a type of crustacean that resembles the cockroach and wood lice of land, but are in fact most closely related to other marine species like crabs and shrimp. These sea cockroaches live on the ocean bed, scavenging on the remains of dead marine animals that have sunk to the seafloor, but are also, like their cockroach namesakes, quite able to survive for long periods without food. While most isopods typically reach around 33 cm in length, some species, like Betanomus raxasa, can reach up to around 50 cm long, thanks to lower levels of predation and the cold of the deep sea. In fact, Batinomus raxasa is the second largest isopod species known to science, superseded only by Batinomus gigantus. The discovery of new species is a great achievement for a taxonomist, especially spectacular species in terms of size and even the ecosystem where species is found, Kahyo Rahmadi of the Indonesian Institute of Science told the BBC.